In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Maximilian Golgi, priest and the martyr. This prize offer as a thanksgiving mass for the 40th anniversary of William and Maria Aurora. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Savior, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, Saint Maximilian Corbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by equally serving others, we may be conformed, even until death, to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will deal with you according to what you have done, you who despise your oath, breaking a covenant. Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you when you were a girl, and I will set up an everlasting covenant with you then you shall remember your conduct and be ashamed when I take your sisters, your, those older and younger than you, and give them to you as daughters, even though I am not bound by my covenant with you. For I will reestablish my covenant with you, that I, you may know I am the Lord that you may remember and be covered with confusion and that you may utterly be and you may be utterly silenced for shame when i pardon you for all you have done says the lord god the word of the lord You have turned from your anger. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. <clears throat> Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel.
อาเลลุยาอาเลลุยาอาเลลุยาอาเลลุยาอาเลลุยาอาเลลุยา Receive the word of God not as the word of men but as it truly is the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisee approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read it from the beginning? The Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. They said to him, Then, why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word. But only those to whom that is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so. Some because they were made so by others. Some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this, how do accept it? The gospel of the Lord. Good morning. In the history of the church, there are many people live their ordinary lives with extraordinary love for God and others people, and they became holy men and women. Many lay people are included in it. There are also some people who live extraordinary life with heroic virtues, like the martyrs. Who gave their life for God and their neighbor? Today's saint, Saint Maximilian k o l b e in his life we can find both ordinary life and extraordinary life. Both of them are present in him. He was born in Poland in 1896. At the age of 16, he joined the Franciscan, and after eight years, he was ordained. He saw the urgent need of evangelization through media, so he founded newspaper and the Knights of Mary Immaculate and lay community, which is called City of Mary. He has great love for Mary, Mother of God. He also went to Japan, and he studied Buddhism and Shintoism, and spread the gospel message. In accordance with the Japanese culture, and he also founded the Garden of Mary in Nagasaki, which survived d o m i n b o l And Father Maximilian's community, Knights of Mary Immaculate, they publish many periodicals in Poland, and also they have their own radio station. He was called back to Poland because of his poor health, and. 1939, German invaded Poland. In 1941, they arrested Father Maximilian k o b e in a u s t r i a s concentration camp. One of the prisoners, whose name was Jan, 
he escaped, and then ten prisoners were to be punished by killing them as uh, starvation. One of the men has the family, and Maximilian Kobe offered himself to take his place, and he gave his life to find saving others. We are very fortunate. St. John Mary Church last Sunday announced the availability of format media, F-O-R-M-E-D. Uh, you can press the F-O-R-M-E-D.org and sign up by looking at your parish. It is free for one year. There are thousands of movie, video, documentaries, books, and audios that can help your family members uh, grow in your faith. And good news for today is, uh, just two days ago, I watched the movie from this side format, Life for Life, Maximilian Gobe. The Life of Today's Saints documentary movie is there. It is very touching, the true story, not fiction. And we find the love of God and love of our neighbors, very beautiful, rewarding, and meaningful in our lives. Let us gather our needs and the needs of all people as we pray. For the church, God's people, may we welcome the word given to us and have the courage to be guided by it in our lives. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders of nations, may they be guided by the desire to further the well-being of all people. We pray to the Lord. For those deprived of food, shadow of love, may their needs be met by those who have put on the life of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For the coronavirus patients and for those who are taking care of them, for speedy reproduction of the vaccine for all the people. We pray to the Lord. For a deep abiding respect for all human life, from conception to nature death. We pray to the Lord. For all, all who have died, especially may they come to the banquet of eternal life in the presence of Christ. We pray to the Lord. God of love, be our guide and goal. Help us always in our journey to you. Be our sure refuge and strength. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through all the earth and walk of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless our you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through our divine and walk of human hands. It will begin our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian to offer our very lives to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you gave order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are for your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim you are there, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be goers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter into my roof. Um. Let us pray. 
We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from this holy banquet. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God with your life.